Hi everyone, this is Terry. We're continuing in our lessons and studying the luminaire. We're in embroidery. I encourage you to go back and watch the previous lessons because these build upon one another. The first thing we're going to do is to select a design. I'd like to go into category five and I'd like to select design number two and choose set. Now you'll notice that this design, which is built into the machine, has some special functions in terms of color, and that includes that in the thread chart for Brother thread charts, you'll notice that you have a cut thread color, you also have the position thread color, and then you also have the applique stitch color. If we go into edit and we look at those thread colors, we'll see as we go down and look at the bottom of either the embroidery thread chart or the country thread chart, you'll see that you have those three icons here. Well, now it's easy to tell that that's what these threads are because you also see the graphic showing you the scissors you also see the stitch for the placement stitch, and then the last color is going to be your applique, and you can see that here. You'll also see this if you go back and to PE Design 11 and you choose a Brother thread chart, you'll notice that you have the same icons on the Brother thread charts. So you're not going to see this on the design that you get from a third party unless they digitize with Brother thread charts. Okay, let's just go ahead and choose OK. And what I want to show you next is the last icon that we have not explored. And that icon is for a stamp or to create a stamp. What I'll do first of all, you can see the size of the design is 6.52 by 4.70. I'm going to rotate this a little bit. So let's rotate it about 40 to 50 degrees, I like that. And we'll go ahead and choose OK. And now what I'm going to do is I'll go over here where you see the icon with the flower. This actually creates a stamp around the design so you can use it with My Design Center. Now we're going to explore My Design Center in, in depth later. And I also have videos that are out there, several videos on my design center. But what you can see is I'm moving the space around this design because I want to add a little bit of space around it if I add stitches using my design center and I need to save it to memory. We'll go ahead and it says recall this from my design center in the stamp pattern list. So we're going to go to my design center and what we can do is select add and then go to my design center. It keeps that design on the screen, if you will, as if we're building and we'll go to stamps. And what I'd like to do is choose the size of frame that I'm going to use for this design as an external boundary box, if you will. So I'm going to use nine and a half by nine and a half and I'll choose OK. Now you also have a, the ability to set an offset from, from that box as well. And I'll just go ahead and leave it at the default value and I'll choose OK. Now what I want to do in my design center, I really want this to be a no stitch line. So what I'll do up here, and you have a box in the upper right. These are all what I call outline stitches. And then in the bottom box here, you have what are fill stitches. We're going to go to the properties and we'll select no sew and I'll choose okay. And you need to apply it to that outline. So we're going to select the button bucket. We'll click or we can touch. And you heard kind of a, a clicking noise. This means that that's been applied to that outline. Now what I want to do is I want to recall that stamp. So here's the stamp right here and I'll, I'll choose it. And you'll see all of the other stamps I've created in the past. These are saved outlines that you can delete. I do have videos showing you how to do that and I'll, I'll continue that in other lessons as we 
progress through the luminaire. We'll select the stamp and choose OK. Now what we want to do is we want to use these fill stitches that are right here and there are four different boxes and you can see the thread color that's selected is red right now. So we'll go into the properties for the fill stitches and I can choose to do, just do a regular fill or stippling or I can use some of the decorative fills that are built into the machine. And I think what I'm going to do is to select this honeycomb, number 24, and I'll choose OK. Now, I, I do want to keep it as a dark color, and let me explain that. The reason that I don't select light colors whenever I'm in my design center is you really can't see them. They're not visible, and you can always change the thread color when you get into embroidery. So this is for viewing purposes only. And I want to take that bucket and I'm just going to pour it into that background. So now you can see that and you can see that it's going to stitch this design around that embroidery design. So we'll choose next and I will go through the settings in my design center in separate videos, but we'll, we will make a few adjustments here. One of the adjustments I want to change the size of this and we'll make it 150 percent because i want it to be not quite so heavy and you'll see that it's redigitized that so it takes a moment for it to do that and i also want the thickness to be a single line instead of a triple stitch now what i'm going to do is i can save this in memory in my design center e either on my machine my USB stick or an SD card. I'll save it to my machine and I'll go ahead and choose set. Now what this is going to do is convert it to an embroidery file. So now you can see how this embroidery would stitch out if I was going to take it from the design and build it with a background fill with my design center. I'm Terry Maffitt. I hope this video has been helpful to you. It's my pleasure to help you join us in my Facebook group, Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire. Thank you and have a great day.